Hi, and welcome to Keynotes. In this video, we are going to see the spoilage of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are a major source of nutrients for humans and animals. It has been reported that globally around 45% of the harvest of fruits and vegetables are wasted because of spoilages. And the spoilages are caused especially from the contaminated crops and the environment, inappropriate harvesting conditions, etc. The major causes can be uh, through the physical damage uh, or mechanical damages occur uh, by the action of animals, birds or insects or any kind of bruising and wounding and uh, microbial spoilage can be from the bacteria or uh, fungal or mold rots then action of enzymes, some changes or discoloration of the fruits and vegetables are because of the action of enzymes we are going to see in detail different types of spoilages and the spoilages are usually classified as rots. First one is bacterial soft rot, which caused by the organism called Pectobacterium caratavorum, which was previously known as Arvenia caratavora, which is a, a very popular uh, crop, you know, a very popular rot uh, you can see worldwide and is caused by bacteria. Next is grey mold. Uh, there will be a cottony and mushy appearance on the fruits you can see in the picture of strawberry uh, and the action is by the um, by the botrytis cinera which is the microorganism responsible for this gray mold rot next is rice of the soft rot in tomatoes you can see there there is a cottony and mushy appearance on the tomatoes which is usually by the organism rice of the stalinifer and andrognos is a disease usually seen in mangoes and is caused by Calactotrichum lindenicianum. You can see a spotting of leaves and other parts of the plants like roots and stem. Uh, these are the major indications of these diseases. Alternaria rot caused by Alternaria tenaris. Uh, on the picture of the cherry, you can see there is a, a small lesions and uh, which is actually uh, turns to black in color later and this is because of the mycelial growth blue mold rot caused by penicillium digitatum there will be blue coloration on the fruits which grows at high temperature next is downy mildew it's a disease of plants especially uh, in cool and humid region caused by the fungus called phytophthora and brenia watery soft rot uh, there will be soft watery mass uh, on the stem or the leaves uh, which is caused by the fungus sclerotinia sclerotiorum next is stem and rot caused by the organisms diplodia alternaria and fusarium there will be a black coloration of fruit adjacent to the stem next is black mold rot as the name indicates which is commonly called as smut which means actually dirt, uh, is um, caused by the microorganism Aspergillus nigger. Next is a black rot, which is actually a more serious disease of cruciferous crops and some of the fruits caused by the organism Alternaria. Pink mold rot, you can see a pink coloration uh, on the fruit, usually on the citrus fruits, it is these kind of uh, spores and mold rot are visible caused by Trichothesium roseum. Fusarium rot. As the name indicates, Fusarium is the organism responsible for these kind of rots or spoilages occur on, usually you can see in these kind of um, spoilage on corns. Green mold rot, caused by the microorganism Clarosporium and Trichoderma. It is uh, very much visible in the picture. There will be green mold green coloration of mycelial growth brown rot caused by sclerotinia uh, usually occur in the fruits like pears and peaches and uh, sliminous or souring caused by saprophytic bacteria in the piled up wet eating vegetables so these are the rods we can see usually in the vegetables and fruits and we can prevent uh, these rods to a certain extent if you have appropriate preservation method or avoid mishandling, which is really important, uh, when you go and buy a fruit or vegetable, 
we should avoid taking them in our hands and rotate and to you know to check whether it is ripe or not these kind of handling process really leads to bruising and wounding of fruits and it allows the microorganism to enter into the fruit from the peel so avoid mishandling is really important then follow GAP and GMP that is good agriculture practice and good manufacturing practices are really inevitable to avoid these kind of problems in fruits and vegetables. Thank you.